No, Let it's me. going. Hi. Oh, we're on. We're on. <laughs> what do you mean? It was good grabs. Okay. Okay, so we're in my mom's kitchen. We're in the food <laughs> nanny's kitchen. It's so funny. Um, it's so cold and snowy here today that this kitchen is dark, dark. right now. It is super dark. So we're coming at a Clowns. different little angle so that we can get the best lighting. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope, I hope everybody's having a great day. Okay, so Lizzie is going to try to teach me while she's here today to just be able to talk to you people Let me make sure it's looking off good. this camera. Instead of having someone film me <laughs> when I'm at home doing lives. So I'm going to try to run this camera today. Um, you all know how horrible I am at technology. And so it's going to be my turn today to run the camera and look at the comments because I want to be able to talk back to you just like Lizzie does. I want to be able to talk back to you and make this more personal instead of being filmed because Lizzie says, Mom, you can't do that anymore. <laughs> well, she doesn't know who's on it and then she doesn't know how to respond. So it's all good. It's a learning curve. We're doing it. Yeah, we're doing it. So I'm going to be in charge of this. So... <laughs> So the camera today is a little bit funny in that our island is behind us. So we're gonna <laughs> sort of work there and then show you what we're doing. So um, we had a fun morning. We drove to Provo. If, um, for those of you who don't know, we live at seven, I live at 7,000 feet. Lizzie was actually raised here. 7,000 feet way up in the mountains. And so it takes us about one hour, almost about an hour, to get to either Provo or Salt Lake. Yeah. So we know that road, both roads, 45 good. minutes, yeah. but, it's, but it's good. Yeah, she lives out in the country. We'll have to show you more where, you know, she's just got this cute farmhouse in the middle of the country. So I'm used to this. I love it out here. We also um, are working on doing a post for you really soon on our buffalo. We have one of the largest <laughs> buffalo ranches just down the road from me. And they're just having babies now. And so we're going to go and I'm going to show you the buffalo ranch. In the next, I hope, well, we were trying to do it while Lizzie's here. So I hope Kristen will get back to me. But um, we want to show you the buffalo ranch. We also have a cheese factory down the street that's more France than France. So we want to show you that too. They said they and, love country living. So do we. I, you know, I live in Denver right now and I am not used to a suburb and I'm like, I'm just in a rental so I can't wait to come back to country. <laughs> it's super country living, super I love rural country. living. So we've got, we used to have um, pigs and sheep. We had a cow and Cats but and dogs. But, but we're city people, too. <laughs> we're, we're like both. Well, well I think we're kind of like that song of Donnie and Marie's. We're a little bit it? country and a little bit rock and roll. Oh, we're a little bit oh, city. Oh, rock and roll, yeah. We're, we're city, a little bit country and a little bit city. We're kind of half and half. Yeah, we really are. We and are. We love it. The great thing about living in the country is that you get to go to the city. But when you live in the city, you don't come up here as much. So you miss out on the air, on the incredible air and the views. And no neighbors and you don't the have views. to close your blinds. Okay, anyways, um, barefoot kids running around outside all day long. We live on five acres in the city limits. We have had Ducks, Ducks and, and pigs, pigs, but, but we, we live, live. Oh, I don't know. Missed the last part. That's Perfect. amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so tell me the about best these um, lemon bars. Okay, so um, Lizzie will talk to me every once in a while, and she's like, "Okay, come on, give me a new dessert." <laughs> And so, well, we, we want to throw out, okay, so our recipes and our two cookbooks are unbelievable, but we want to throw out new ones because she has so many amazing recipes. That didn't make the book. Just didn't make the book. But I know a lot of you are like, well, is another book going to come out? Not right now. <laughs> that is not in the works right now, but we do have a really fun idea, but we always speak way too soon. But we have a new idea about, remember the yearly thing oh, that we yeah. talked about? Oh, yeah, that's but a good idea. we don't know. But these lemon bars, I know when I tell you stuff like this that I'm not a fan of this and whatever, but I am not a big lemon bar recipe person. 
Are you, Mom? No, I never I have been. I never. We've never made like they didn't make it in the books because they're not one of our go-to's. Yeah, but they are TDF. They really are. And I don't love lemon bars, so I was like, we have to show them. This lemon bar recipe um, is is so Can good. You, it's so lemony. Now, let me just, um, let's see. So, thank you so much. Okay, but look, you scroll up. Okay. And you've missed comments. Okay. They're like, yum, love lemon bars. Okay, thank you. Now you go down. Okay, I'm trying to learn this, okay? Thoughts on spiral, thoughts on spiral bounding the books. Uh, bind, bounding the books, okay. So... When you get our books, you just go down to Staples or Kinko's or somewhere like that. Kinko's is still around, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, for sure Staples. And you just have them cut off the very back. Let me grab a book. Oh, this is so you just have them cut off barely this part and then they spiral round it. I was charged four dollars just over four dollars a book to have that done when the books first came out we offered spiral bound or not and the spiral bound were like five or six dollars more and so people just said eh, i don't need it you know but now people are wishing we had spiral bound because everybody wants one and wants to pay the extra five or six or seven that it costs but you can do it yourself. We do it all the time, and that's why a lot you'll see us use our spiral bound. So, um, do you do you love them spiral bound? Oh yeah, they're After you it's get a them. game changer because you can flip it open. But also, you said your publisher didn't let you because in the book aisle, like you can see that it says the food nanny better. And that's why you said, too, that they didn't like it. That's but. another reason that they shied away from it. But it's fine. It's very inexpensive, and it's really great. Okay, so that's, um, <laughs> you don't have to always go so close. Re reorganized my cookbooks today and kept, um, and yours kept the cut. Ha ha, they really are all I use lately. Right, wow, that's so nice. <laughs> that's so nice. We made the cut. Good. It's difficult to write a cookbook. Oh. It takes years. It took me four years to write my first book. And then about three and years. And literally to locked do the herself one. in her room and nobody saw or talked to her in four years. Years, years, Literally. years, years, years. Literally. It was sad. We wanted our mom and grandma back, and then she finally came back. Because <laughs> it's so difficult writing recipes. If you don't have a recipe already perfect, you have to make it so many times to try to get the right ingredients. It's very difficult. That's why they're tried and true. They're tried and true. Okay. okay so we, so like we said, we're making these insane lemon bars, and I'm not kidding. I'm not. The lighting is so bad. It's so bad. In here right now I'm like oh man but these are the best so it was Yvonne that inspired me to do this this lemon bar recipe of course we're using our white kamu um, of course that's what we're using and they're even more over the top than they ever have been um, let's see okay okay I'm just checking it out because I'm the one in charge today <laughs> Of the, um, of well, the she phone. needs to learn how to do it herself when I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, and it's scary. <laughs> okay, so to begin with, um, where did you throw this? So to begin with, Lizzie is going to start out with um, two cups of white kamut flour. Of course, if you don't have the white kamut, just use your all-purpose. When you when you do use white kamut, just go easy. Don't like overfill. But underfill just a hair, okay, when you use the white kamut flour. So just air under, uh, under a little bit. Yeah. So two cups of white kamut or regular all-purpose flour, and then a half a cup of sugar, a fourth of a teaspoon of our French salt. Lizzie wanted me to show oh, you this, this um, today. This is the... Um, Garand, actually the Garand from France's jar that they actually sell in France. And this is what I get to keep my gray salt in because when I went out to San Francisco, they awarded me this and a few other amazing kitchen tools that I'm loving so much. I cherish every tool and what's so fun about kitchen tools if you buy them in a different country or a different state or even your favorite place like Sur La Table or Williams-Sonoma 
or TJ Maxx. And I want to talk about TJ Maxx today. Um, wherever your favorite place is to buy, or Singigi to buy your favorite kitchen tools, I don't know, when you use them, you think of it. And it takes you right back to wherever it was. And that's the fun part about cooking that I think people don't realize, is that when you get into it and you start collecting kitchen tools, they're like your life. They're like your best friends. And so that's what's really great about traveling. That's what's really great about traveling. But if you're not to that point, you've got a ton of kids and you just don't travel, don't worry. Go to your favorite stores and find these fun kitchen tools because they just make the cooking even more delightful. That's what really happens. So Lizzie's got the two cups of flour, a half a cup of sugar, and a fourth of a teaspoon of our French salt. And now she's taking two cubes two sticks, two cubes of butter. Doesn't matter if you use unsalted <laughs> or salted, whatever you've got is fine for this. Explain how when most of your recipes say butter, it means salted. It will yes. say unsalted well, specifically. Yes. The, the recipes, at least in, in our cookbooks, yeah. um, will, speci will specify if we want you to use unsalted. So we'll specify that. So just assume that, that the when it calls for butter, it's regular butter, which has been oh. salted. Um, but I I think I've mentioned to you before, I love unsalted butter, especially on my toast. Um, I do use it in some of our pastry as well. And I know a chef that is a fabulous chef and all she uses is unsalted. Okay. So people like different things. I think we're... Uh, da, 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 da. Liz, you're doing great. Just ordered the cookbooks. I said a few days ago that I got the salt in France but was afraid of it. I used it and it is life changing. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Is white kamut the same as white wheat? No, because it's kamut. Um, the average white wheat or the average whole wheat out there. Um, what Kamut does is it takes up the protein and other nutrients. It just, ju it makes a leap. It is leaps and bounds above the average white wheat or whole wheat out there. 40% more protein in the Kamut whole wheat, 30% more protein in the Kamut white flour. Yeah. That's just one of the um, great boost that you get love your work. recipes and tips i need all the help i can get totally off subject is lizzie's name elizabeth every time i hear you say lizzie i think it's the cutest oh that's so nice it i was elizabeth. named after her should we tell the funny story sure let's say it really fast okay okay so i was born and back in the day you had no clue if you were having a girl or a boy right, right. like how nowadays right. And so she always guessed wrong. She had seven kids and she had boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. And then I switched it up, girl, girl. So I knew she end. was a boy for so sure. So she thought I was a boy. So they were thinking boy names. Right. And then I came out a girl and then my dad was saying, I want to name it. I want to name her after you. And you were like, no, right? You no, didn't want it. that's too confusing. And I said, well, if we <laughs> name her after me, we can name her Elizabeth because I'm Elizabeth as well. And then we can call her. And Beth her grandma or, was Elizabeth. Yes, and or another name. And, you know, another Betsy or derivative off Elizabeth. And he said, no, she's going to be called Liz after you. No, you, Lizzie. Well, yes, Liz. And then <laughs> I said, well, what about if you insist, then let's do Lizzie because my grandmother was Lizzie. And I was named after her, but I was Liz. So that's the story. Anyways, I love it. I love it. Okay, where do you buy Kamut? Okay, so go to Montana Flour and Grain. We are partnering with Montana Flour and Grain, and we're going to be selling the white Kamut as soon as we get our packaging done. 
This process we've been working on for over eight or nine months. It takes a long time to go through every step to be able to get to the point where you're actually selling it. And we're getting so close. We're so excited. Um, we may be finally there with our packaging. Once we're there with the design of the package, then it goes to print and then we'll almost be in business. So we're so excited. Um, and Montana, Montana Flower and Grain is actually so excited because they have a voice and um, there are many people out there now that do have a voice for Kamut because more people are understanding and realizing all the benefits of it. And I think we've told you many times um, how much Italy loves Kamut. And the reason why Italy sort of took it on was because there were a few people in their country that were, you know, becoming gluten free. Well, if you're in Italy and you can't eat pasta or bread or, you know, pizza, um, the regular dough with, with regular flour, you're kind of out of luck. So they found that the Kamut is actually more tolerant on gluten-free people. Now, if you're celiac, no, but it's more tolerant for gluten-free people. Many, many people can use it. Um, it's just easier on the stomach. And the reason why is because it hasn't been mixed with other kinds of flours and rebread okay. and the whole thing. It's pure. And what that Kamut name stands for, it's actually Coruscant wheat, but it means it's pure. It's <sighs> solid Kamut. Okay. So uh, is that is the company actually based out of Montana? Yes. Do they have a storefront in Montana? No, because this is a co-op. These are farmers that have come together um, with... At, at Montana Flour and Grain, they all grow their Kamut, and then they come together, and they bring it together, and they sell it. Okay, um, so, yeah, we already hit the celiac disease. So if you're completely celiac, it's not good, but if you're... You'll still need gluten-free flour. Yeah. But I would still give it... I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I just know so many people using okay, it. Okay, can you taste a difference in the Kamut? Yes. Yes, and everybody that, first we were asking people to test it for us. I mean, well, I've been eating it almost now over three years, and and everybody I've made it but for, which is hundreds of people. But the white is newer Right, right, the, the white is newer. But everybody that tastes it says it's the best they've ever had. And that's you what we're getting You can really from tell everyone. in your bread, but honestly, we keep saying this, we don't use any other flour now. Our all-purpose is dumped in the trash so somebody just said do you really do it for cookies and cakes too yes everything. it's everything. everything every single thing because why would we not it's more expensive that's the thing but nowadays we're we're going down to starbucks for hot chocolate and and a, and a treat if we're on a trip or someplace we're going to quench it for a cookie or so delicious or or what's the one we love down in salt lake um i just can't think of the name of it um, here in Utah, the anyway, um, somebody will tell me the I name don't know of it. What? Anyway, what? where we get a cookie and a and a diet coke or a drink. Uh, well, you just said I'm so delicious. Yes, but, enough, but there's another one too, and um, it's down in American Fork too. But anyway, we love all those places, and we're spending money getting you know um, a a fun strawberry, um, banana, raspberry drink, whatever, and. And, and, and getting a cookie on occasion. And and so, why would we not? Oh, Swig. Are you yes, Swig? Swig. I was trying to think of Swig. Yes, yes. thank you. Okay. Yes, Thanks, yes. Sally. I was trying to think of the word Swig. And, and so, we're spending more money on that. Well, well, if we're doing that, why can't we so spend? So, everybody said Swig yeah. after. That's Okay, funny. thank you. I couldn't think, you guys. I don't even have a drink and cookie place anymore. I have to create it for myself at home. Yeah. But, um. I love, this is the reason why I love Utah so much is because we do have our places <laughs> yeah. that we love to go. And I think it's so much fun. It is so much fun. And okay, can oh, you can buy Camus from the storefront on Fort Benton, Montana. Okay, great. Great. Okay, okay. So because it's Fort Benton and I have been there. And oh, I, and we will be going I go daily. I know I will, yeah. <laughs> and we will be going back when the Kamut is ready to be harvested, and we're going to show you what it looks like. It's so beautiful. Okay, on the lemon bar recipe, we're gonna post it after this, but 
Um, but if you want it right now for that girl, it's two cups flour, a half a cup of sugar, one four teaspoon salt, and two sticks of butter. And then we gotta do the filling, so we'll be posting it. Okay, so Kamut would be better to stabilize blood sugar. Yes, yes. It's, it stabilizes cholesterol. It has more magnesium. Um, it, cure, it helps cure the common cold. It keeps you regular. I mean, when I, I did not know all the benefits when I was, when I've been eating it, eating it, when finally I was in, um, I was living in Europe for a while and when I got back, I went everywhere looking for Kamut because I'd been eating it for so long and I couldn't find it anywhere. And finally, I got in touch with Montana Flour and Grain and I said, Thank you. Okay, and but listen, we are super excited, obviously, about Kamut and the whole thing that it does for you. But don't go crazy. No. It's not like you cannot be using your all-purpose flour. I no. just barely switched. She hasn't. She's been doing it for a little while now. But it doesn't mean that now our recipes are no good oh, for you no. or nothing like that. So I don't want to make, you know, no, discourage. No, we <laughs> want you to know that you don't need to run out and change your flour. Absolutely not. That's crazy. But the Food Nanny is here to help you understand quality nutrition. And honestly, and I, we keep saying this to people now too. Look, we're giving you all of our secrets. Like every secret she's ever had, we've never had a social media to give it. And so daily, yearly, monthly, we're just letting you into our life completely. And this is what, you know, she has found and discovered and we're obsessed and with. And how could I not tell you that the, <laughs> great, the greatest flower on earth is Kamut. And so I have to tell you that. I have to tell you what I use. But don't feel pressured in any way, shape, or form that you have to go out and use it. No. You'll be just fine using what you're using. Do you pronounce it Kamut or Kamut? It's Kamut. K-A-M-U-T. Yeah. Kamut. And what it is, it's an Egyptian word for wheat. That's what it means. Kamut is an Egyptian word for wheat. And okay, you'll be hearing sure about it more and more, not just from us, but from everybody around the whole world. Um, but it's been out for a long, it's been out for a long while, but people have just not been experimenting with it and trying it. And mostly it's chefs and it's people like us. That are you should be the food missionary. <laughs> she basically did that on her mission. That was her mission. Yes. Okay. Just kidding. No, okay, no, no. Okay. Okay, so show them show what them. you show them what you're doing. Okay, so this um what, not, not a dough. Is this would you call this a dough? Um yes. No, okay. Yes. Well, this is not going to come together. You know like how if you do um it's cookies. It's, a, it's, it's called a crust. A crust, yeah. Yes. I'm like, it's not a dough. No. The crust does not come together. I kind of wanted to show it to you. It's more of a coarse, like, crumbly, like this. Like, it doesn't come together, if that makes any sense. Like, when you're making um, our, our, pecan our pecan bars, bars for instance, like our pecan crust, it totally comes together. This is just a crumbly... Um, you're just making sure that you use your pastry blender and you're just getting in there to work the butter in as much as you can, but you're just making it, you know, like they say, almost the blue cheese crumbly yeah, yeah. texture. So it's perfect. So then you just take your nine by 13 and just grease it super well. And we love the Kirkland. Yeah. We just love the Kirkland cooking spray. This is what she's used for many years. I think it's the best. It's the best, so you're just gonna spray it. Now hold it. Okay. We're doing all of this because the lighting is so much better. Over here, because it's Because it, so it got dark. so dark. It got so dark. It got so dark. Okay, so now you're just gonna pour it into your nine by 13. Woo. And then just kind of use your hands and flatten it out. And someone asked, did, have I ever used Bob's Red Mill Kamut? I actually have not, but I bet it's good. I bet it's super good. But does he have the white Kamut in the box <laughs> red mail? Well, we had a follower that because just said they used it, and, and she said it was too... Um, well, I'm, I'm was sure like it was the wheat. brown. I'm sure it was the brown. We're using the brown. I'm calling it white and brown. Um, so we're use, I'm using the brown for bread a lot, but I'm also using the white. The brown is 40% okay. more protein. The white is 30% more. Okay, so this is just patted down. But I'm sure that Bob's Red Mill is super good because that's a quality product. So 
Okay, um, I made your breadsticks and fat, uh, breadsticks and fettuccine alfredo with your alfredo sauce. My family loved it. Good. Best alfredo in the world. Yeah, okay. that's a yummy alfredo. Okay, so you're gonna so then you after you pat it in your nine by thirteen, you're gonna bake that for twenty minutes and then you're gonna take it out. Show once it the like once the edges are lightly brown, then you're yeah. going to take it out. And now then you make the lemon filling. So this is what it looks like at this point. We've taken this one out. And now she's going to show you how to make the filling. You take it right out, and then we put the filling on top of it. So, um, so for the filling, um, what we need, we need to stir together. Okay, on Montana Flower Site, it only shows wheat, kamut, and white wheat. It's the white, white wheat. wheat. Yes. Yes. I'm the assuming the second flower. one is the second. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and I wanted to just throw this in there. I know we get different viewers every day so i just wanted to say the reason why you're paying so much more is because kamut gets half the yield that any regular wheat um uh crop out there gets kamut is half the yield so that's why it's so expensive is because it's just that's a fact half the yield she's saying yes bob's white kamut is 322 per ounce at vista cost just arrived today can't wait to use it okay great okay so this is <laughs> okay um the filling is one and a half cup sugar okay okay and a fourth of a cup flour so i'm supposed to be working this so i can <laughs> yes you try are try to do it so one and a half cup sugar and a fourth of a cup of flour, and then four whole large eggs. So we'll just go ahead and put the four eggs in. Four whole large eggs, just like that. And then we're just going to whisk together. Okay, you see that? whisking together so it's one and a half cup sugar and a fourth of a cup flour and four whole large eggs now we need lemons um say why you think this recipe is the best to tell me yeah i i think the crust is the best crust i've ever had on a lemon bar and i also think that there's more lemon juice in this recipe and for sure the zest. Zest is so important to make the lemon bar so good. So what we'll do is, would you just She said, I love knife? lemon bars, but some recipes grab taste eggy. Do you notice egg? No. Did you notice egg? No, I don't. No. Actually, no. no I, in our recipe, I, I have not noticed egg. No, I haven't. Okay. So. Everybody has, I'm sure, something that looks like this. And we're just going to put the juice. Um, first of all, we should have zested. So what, I shouldn't have cut that open first. So we, first we'll do this. But let me show you this. Let me see if you, can they see this, Lizzie? Here. Maybe if I back just up. Here. But I need to zest right here. Oh. So. Um, it's good, it's good. Okay. This tool right here is powerful my goodness um just making the last ones i sort of nicked myself you have to be super careful when using something like this this is a p-a-d-e-r-n-o it's a um world cu cuisine it's sharp but it works amazing there are you can you can buy these everywhere but this is perfect to zest now we have already we have already um, washed these lemons super good. And we're just going to zest, but I want to show you how much zest. Someone, we just got a question yesterday. Someone said, what does zesting mean? And it just means exactly this. Make sure your counter's clean wherever you're zesting, but holding this on a plate is gonna be tough to do because the plate could slip out from underneath you. So this is zest of four lemons, but look how great this zester works. Lizzie, grab the other one. It does work really well. 
grab the other one that I have and we'll show them that one. What one? As well, it's right there. Um, in there, yeah. It's right there. And Someone says, um, they're so glad that we came on later. She's watching from New Zealand live. Oh, wow. Hi Hello, from Sydney. New Zealand. I'm I wondering guess. about washing the lemons and other citrus before zesting. Yeah, Just I with did. water or do you use a produce soap? No, I don't. I, I honestly, in all the years of baking, I have been just fine with, in America, just washing with water. But I have to tell you, when I'm over in Thailand, and if I'm baking there, which I have been a lot, or in, in a country that, that, where you can't drink the water, if you're in a country where you can't She's drink the in water, like Australia. Mexico or Thailand, there's so many countries that you can't drink the water unless you're totally used to it. You know what I mean? If you're just going there visiting and you can't drink the water, then you need to be washing all of your produce and your lettuce really well. And that's, there's a few different mixtures that you can use for that. Some people wash in salt, but a lot of people use sort of a, a, Clora, um, a Clorox thing, a Clorox wash thing, and you have to wash everything, but not here in America. Um, I think it's totally good. Look at this zest. Can you see it, Lizzie? Do you think we should come up a little bit closer? Because I want them to see this beautiful zest. This is how much we're putting in these, these lemon bars. So you taste the lemon, okay? And this, this zester is amazing. Where's the other one that I have? Right there. No, yeah, there's another long one too. Um, something like this um, works super good too if you have something like that. But then I have another oh. long one. Yes, this is one I wanted to show. I have a set of these and they're microplane. Um, that's, that's the brand, is microplane. Um, sharpener, yeah. And these are very good as well. And you can find those anywhere. So, to do your zesting. So we have... Okay, is it okay to get some of the white part of the lemon? I've always been taught that it makes it tart. Well, you don't want to get too much of the white. You don't want to get too much of the white. You want to be careful, but I, I did get the white, but don't like shave the white or anything. But when you're using those, when you're using these zesters, you have to be careful because they're sharp and sometimes you get a little bit of the white. But these are juicy lemons. And so we're gonna have really good, <laughs> really, really good. Um, okay, so while you're doing that, one more second, I want to explain one thing about the hot pad because we're going for a minute. Okay, so we sold our hot pads yesterday. We posted 200 more hot pads online yesterday and we sold out again in less than a day. So that is amazing. So what I wanted to explain to you is um, they are trying to knit as fast as they can and they're trying to have 50 um, hot pads done a week. So every Monday, I'm gonna repost the hot pads to 50. So if you feel like you missed out and you wanted more and you were super sad, every Monday of every week, we're trying to post about 50 more. So just so you know that. But um, I promise whoever got them, you're gonna love them. Look how hers are filthy right now. But you can clean these. Knit faster. I agree. I agree, <laughs> Amy. It's Amy. Oh. Um, but so there will be posting every Monday. I'm going to post 50 more every single week. So that will be really good. That's so fun. So see, I'm going to pour. It's about a cup of juice, <laughs> fresh lemon juice, and I'm going to pour it through my little sieve. It's really nice to have these in different sizes. And then we're just going to stir it. Really good. So now it's more lemon juice. They'll ship like two to three business days. Sorry, I keep like popping in. We're going to put in the lemon zest. But don't worry, every Monday there will be more. So just be on it every Monday. Okay, so Lizzie, if you'll bring that over. The, the cooked one, yeah. It's still hot. Now we're just going to pour this right on top. Does this have to cool? No. We're just going to pour this right on top of the hot and then we're going to put it back into the oven. So, so that is perfect. 
Okay. We'll put it back into the oven, and I believe it's for another, I think it's another 20 minutes. Yes, for about 20 minutes. And then when they get finished, um, we put them, as soon as you can hold it and get it into the refrigerator, we put them straight into the refrigerator for two hours. And then when they come out of the refrigerator, we dust them with powdered sugar. And you can um, do whatever di kind of dusting you like and then go ahead and serve. <laughs> um, yes, they're $10 each for one pad, um, one hot pad because they are, they're hand knitted. They're very nice and it takes them a while to knit them. Taste so, yeah. them. Go ahead and taste I've them. I've already been tasting them I know. all day. I know. I love them. I don't like lemon bars and I wanted to share this. They're amazing. Solid lemon. With all mm -hmm. that zest, with all that zest and the crust, they're unbelievable. The best I've ever had. It really is. You, I don't taste any egg in this. No, it's solid lemon. Okay, where can I find and the crust. lemon bar recipe? Um, we're about to post it. <laughs> Give us a minute. Well, I don't know. Do we dare take a screenshot of this? No, no, no. We have we, to post we it. gotta post it. We gotta post it. But we're gonna post it soon. You wouldn't be able to read the recipe. Are there any other questions? You guys, I'm not kidding. So good. Anyways, I think this is the only live that we're doing together. I'm here for a wedding. My niece is getting married tomorrow, but the reception is tonight. So is this our only live together? Unless we do something tomorrow night. Because we have a cooking class I hate on living Saturday. away from my family. We have, we have a cooking class on Saturday at Orson Gigi, and we're so excited to see. Um, we have two classes, one at 10 a.m. Oh, yeah, our cooking class is on Saturday. We're so excited. So 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., I believe it is. So we're so excited to see all of you who signed up. So excited. Gonna it's going to be a party. You. It's a bread class. So you'll be able to take some of the bread home as well. Um, we can't take orders on the hot pads. We did that last time. That's exhausting. It's exhausting. So just know that every Monday we will be posting 50 more. So just get on it the minute it gets posted every Monday. Perfect. Right? Yeah. But we had 200 and they sold out in like, what, 10 hours? I think it was like in 10 hours. Seriously. I wish I lived there. I would go to your class. I know. Is it sold out? Yes, the class is sold out. But we'll be hopefully we doing more. Yes, I hope so. So <laughs> thanks, everybody. You're going to love these lemon bars. If anybody's got anything going this weekend, super fun. Do a class in Colorado. These. We, you can make these lemon bars we and will. take them anywhere. You can Where be proud is of the them. cooking class? Yes, it's, it, they're, it's sold out. It was at Orson Gigi. And please do as many lives together as you can. Adorable, you both are. That's so nice. Thank well, you. I just got to move back by my family. <laughs> I hope she can. Hopefully in the nice. next while. In the next uh, year. Making the lemon bars right now. Oh, yeah, you need to. Okay, why do you live in Colorado? Um, so my dad has a security company, and we went out there to start it. So we have just been there. I can't even believe it, but it's been like three years. But it's just temporary, and um, I'm probably moving back within the next year. Like, I'll probably be there another year. And so then I'll move be more back. Fun. We can be we'll together be together more, way more. Is... I'll probably just be there for another year. But I love Colorado and love everybody there, but I want to be back by my family. But don't forget. No, it's not Vivint. It's called Stone Security. <laughs> it's kind of like that, but no. Stone don't, Security. Don't forget that the reason why we're here is we want you to cook this food so that you can gather your families around the table so you can give them a really good dessert on occasion and on occasion you, every day yeah every day every day i have a dessert so you can bond with your family and the and the the conversation that you have with your family around the dinner table is actually more important than the food so that's the reason we're here, is we're trying to motivate you to get back into the kitchen. For those of you who've had my books forever and you, you're pulling them back out again, or you weren't sure about this recipe or that, or you thought, ah, I don't even know if any of those recipes are good. We've been going good. too long. But 
Anyway, that's the reason we're here, is to help you get motivated to cook these recipes, to stay super healthy, super healthy, and we, we're teaching you all of our secrets, and we're teaching you how to have a healthy lifestyle. Yes. That's what we're doing. Okay, we so, love you. We love you, so we'll see you again soon.